Hello students, let us discuss about uh, data mining versus knowledge discovery in databases. In this lecture, we will see about uh, data mining tasks, various data mining methods, then we will discuss about uh, KDD and finally, we will see the exact difference between data mining and KDD. As you all know, data mining and uh, KDD, it is closely related terms. Data mining is the step in the KDD. Then we will uh, discuss about uh, data mining task. Data mining involves the following common classes of task. First one is classification. Classification is learning a function that maps or classifies a data item into one of several predefined classes. Next regression. Regression is learning a function which maps a data item to a real valued prediction variable. Next comes clustering. Clustering is a common descriptive task where one seeks to identify a finite set of categories or clusters to describe the data. Closely related to clustering is the task of probability density estimation which consists of techniques for estimating from uh, data the join multivariate probability density function of all of the variables or fields in the database. The next one is summarization. Summarization involves methods for finding a compact description for a subset of data. And next dependency modeling. Dependency modeling consists of finding a model which describes significant dependencies between variables. Two levels of dependency models are available. The first model is the structural level of the model. The structural level of the model specifies often graphically which variables are locally dependent on each other and the second one is the quantitative level of the model. This quantitative level of the model specifies the strength of the dependencies using some numerical scale. Change and deviation deduction focuses on discovering the most significant changes in the data from previously measured or normative values. Next, we can see about the various data mining methods. A wide variety of data mining methods exist. We can see about the popular techniques of data mining. First one is decision trees and rules. Decision trees and rules that use univariate splits have a simple representational form making the inferred model relatively easy for the user to comprehend. The restriction to a particular tree or rule representation significantly restricts the functional form of the model. This model is more powerful in the prediction but it can be much more difficult to understand. The second one is nonlinear regression and classification methods. Nonlinear regression and classification methods consist of a family of techniques for prediction that fit linear and nonlinear combinations of basic functions like sigmoids, splints, polynomials to combinations of the input variables. Examples include feed forward neural networks, adaptive splint methods, and projection pursuit regression. The third method is example based methods. Example based methods representation is simple. It uses representative examples from the database to approximate a model that is predictions on new examples are derived from the properties of similar examples in the model prediction is known. Techniques include nearest neighbor classification and regression algorithms and case based reasoning systems. The disadvantage of example based methods compared with tree based method is that well defined distance metrics for evaluating the distance between data points is required. Next comes the probabilistic graphical dependency model. Probabilistic graphical dependency models specify probabilistic dependencies using a graph structure. The model specifies which variables are directly dependent on each other. These models are used with categorical or discrete valued variables, but extensions to special cases such as 
Gaussian densities for real valued variables are also possible. Next model is relational learning models. Even though decision trees and rules have a representation restricted to proportional logic, relational learning also known as inductive logic programming uses the more flexible pattern language of first order logic. Next, we are going to see about knowledge discovery in databases KDD. Knowledge discovery in databases is the process of searching for hidden knowledge in the massive amounts of data that we are technically capable of generating and sorting. Data in its raw form is simply a collection of elements from which little knowledge can be cleaned. With the development of the data discovery techniques, the value of the data is significantly improved. A variety of methods are available to assist in extracting patterns that when interpreted provide valuable, possibly previously unknown insight into stored value. This information can be predictive or descriptive in nature. Data mining, the pattern extraction phase of KDD can take on many forms, the choice depend on the desired results. There are several viable options currently being used to assist in weeding out usable information. The information retrieval process using these various tools is referred to as knowledge discovery in databases KDD. The basic task of KDD is to extract knowledge or information from lower level data or databases. There are several formal definitions of KDD. All agree that the intent is to harvest information by recognizing patterns in raw data. According to Fired, Pitetsky, Saprio and Smith, knowledge discovery in databases is the non-trivial process of identifying valid, novel, potentially useful and ultimately understandable patterns in data. The goal is to distinguish from unprocessed data something that may not be obvious but is valuable or enlightening in its discovery. Extraction of knowledge from raw data is accomplished by applying data mining methods. KDD has a much broader scope of which data mining is one step in a multidimensional process. Next, we will see the process involved in knowledge discovery in databases. Steps in the KDD process are depicted in the diagram. It is important to note that KDD is not accomplished without human interaction. The selection of a data set and subset requires an understanding of the domain from which the data is to be extracted. For example, a database may contain customer address that would not be relevant to discover patterns in the selection of food items at a grocery store. Deleting non-related data elements from the data set reduces the search space during the data mining phase of KDD. If the data set can be analyzed using sampling of the data, the sample size and composition are determined during this stage. Databases are noisy or contain inaccurate or missing data. During the pre-processing stage, the data is cleaned. This involves the removal of outliers if appropriate, deciding strategies for handling missing data fields, accounting for time sequence information and applicable normalization of data. Transformation phase attempts to limit or reduce the number of data elements that are evaluated while maintaining the validity of the data. During this stage, the data is organized converted from one type to another that is changing nominal to numeric and new or derived attributes are defined. At this point, the data is subjected to one or several data mining methods such as classification, regression or clustering. The data mining component of KDD often involves repeated iterative application of 
particular data mining methods. For example, to develop an accurate symbolic classification model that predicts whether magazine subscribers will renew their subscriptions, a circulation manager might need to first use clustering to segment the subscriber database, then apply rule induction to automatically create a classification for each desired cluster. The final step is the interpretation and documentation of the results from the previous steps. Actions at this stage could consist of returning to a previously step in the KDD process to further refine the acquired knowledge or translating the knowledge into the form understandable to the user. A commonly used interpretive technique is visualization of the extracted pattern. The results should be critically re reviewed and conflicts with the previously believed or extracted knowledge resolved. So next, how we are going to choose a data mining model? There are no established guidelines to assist in choosing the correct algorithm to apply to a data set. Typically, the more complex models may fit the data better but may also be more difficult to understand and to fit reliably. Successful applications use simpler models due to their ease of translation. Each technique tends to lend itself to a particular type problem. Understanding that domain will assist in determining what kind of information is needed from the discovery process thereby narrowing the field of choices. Results can be broken into two general categories. One is prediction and another one is description. Prediction as the name infers attempts to forecast the possible future values of data elements. Prediction is being applied extensively in the area of finance in an attempt to forecast movement in the stock market. Description seeks to discover interpretable patterns in the data. Fraud deduction is an application that uses description to identify characteristics of potential fraudulent transactions. Classification, clustering, summarization and dependency modeling are descriptive models while regression is predictive. Next comes the current applications of KDD. Several knowledge discovery applications have been successfully implemented. SkyCat, a system which automatically detects and classifies sky objects image data resulting from a major astronomical sky survey. SkyCat can outperform astronomers in accurately classifying faint sky objects. KDD is being used to flag suspicious activities on two frontiers. Falcon alerts banks of possible fraudulent credit card transactions and FAIS system being employed by the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network which detects financial transactions that may indicate money laundering. Market Basket Analysis MBA has incorporated discovery driven data mining techniques to gain insights about customer behavior. Other applications are being used in the molecular biology, global climate change modeling and other concentrations where the volume of data exceeds our ability to decipher its meaning. Next, we can see the exact difference between data mining and KDD. Data in its raw form is just a collection of things where little information might be derived. Together with the development of information discovery methods, data mining and KDD, the value of the information is significantly improved. Data mining is one among the steps of knowledge discovery in databases as shown in the diagram. KDD is a multi-step process that encourages the conversion of data to useful information. Data mining is the pattern extraction phase of KDD. Data mining can take on several types, the option influenced by the desired outcomes. To conclude, 
knowledge discovery in databases is answering a need to make use of the mountains of data that is accumulating daily. KDD enlist the power of computers to assist in the recognizing patterns in data, a task that exceeds human ability as the size of data warehouses increase. New methods of analysis and pattern extraction are being developed and adopted to KDD. Which method is used depends on the domain and results expected. The accuracy of the recorded data must not be overlooked during the KDD process. Domain specific knowledge assists with the subjective analysis of KDD results. Much attention has been given to the data mining phase of KDD, but earlier steps such as data cleaning play a significant role in the validity of the results. Thank you.